Hey y'all, welcome back to Joey Quest and welcome back to some more Final Fantasy 14. When we left off, we finished the MSQ up to 14. We did a lot of cutscenes, um, so we didn't really get that far in terms of level of msq but we did experience the battle of cartano with the three um nation leaders and we did a bunch of stuff with the syndicate and here we are uh getting ready to turn in the quest after having uh watched all the cutscenes. and yeah so we're gonna finish all the msqs up to level 15 and including 15 and then we're gonna finish the level 15 um church quest and continue on with the msq and so without further ado let the quest continue all right let's get out of here So we gotta go, Rob on, oh, Hall of Flames. Whoa, Hall of Flames. Ah, oh, look at this guy. No. Oh! The golden saucer thing is still here. Okay, that's weird. All right. Okay, here we are, y'all, at the Hall of Flames. Who do we gotta talk to here? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna turn off these names, because this shit's getting wild. Okay, let's do this. Hey, Robon, what's up? I've been waiting for you, Joey. I trust you are fully recovered. Good, because there is much work to be done that I would have you do. Okay. Oh, look at that! Level 17! Yes! Did I get anything? Okay. Nope. Listen well, Joey. This will take some time to explain. Uh-oh. The Uldan Envoy. Rabban means to entrust you with a task of utmost importance. Seems like we're getting ready to wrap up the Uldan storyline, y'all. I prepared these letters for our counterparts in the Eorzean Alliance. <laughs> ah. Five years ago, we looked on powerless as our brothers and sisters were taken from us at Cartano. First by the Guardians and then by the Thrice Dem, Primal called forth by their treachery. Not a day goes by that I do not think of my fallen comrades <laughs> and of the warriors of light of whom no trace remained. The tragedies of the Calamity are not so easily forgotten, nor should they be. In remembering all we've lost, we are reminded of what we still have. And so I mean to mark the fifth anniversary of the Battle of Partenau with a memorial service honoring the Fallen. It is my hope that my counterparts in the Alliance will agree to do the same. And I would have you bear my words to them as my personal envoy. Why, you? Because your deeds mark you out as the nearest thing I have to a warrior of light. I can think of none more worthy of the role. The question is, will you accept it? <laughs> this fucking voice. Then it is agreed. You will journey to Gradaria Limsalaminsa as my official representative. Now, that's a great many moms to travel, but I have neither the time nor patience to wait around while you do it on foot. What? What's this? I hereby grant you permission to Use the airship routes connecting the three city-states. This pass serves as proof of your privilege. Gone are the days when airship travel was available to all. The ever-present threat of Imperial attack has forced us to impose drastic restrictions out of concern for public safety. These passes are, our, are only granted when circumstances demand it, as in this case. Though there were others who insisted you be granted one regardless. I, Joey, I am not alone in seeing this. In seeing it, your potential is plain. But I have said enough. In the name of the Sultana, I bid you go forth. See for yourself the wonders of the realm for which the warriors of light risked all. Rise to your calling and fulfill your promise. And should your path be barred by man or beast, strike fast and true, for victory belongs to the bold. Now go, Joey, and heed the crystal's guidance should you ever lose your way. <laughs> okay, Mr. Butchie Butcherson. If that isn't the most hyper-masculine man, I don't know what is. Speak with Mamodi, because of course I have to fucking run my ass off. Whoa, what was that? Oh, 
cute. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, much better not having to see their freaking names. Look at this clown. Okay. <laughs> okay, bitch. Let's take the side entrance this time, shall we? I'm back, Mamodi. Must I always talk to you? Must I talk to you? Ah, back from your meeting with Raubon, are you? What did the big man have to say? Is that a fact? Personal envoy of the flame of General himself. So, you'll be bearing the great man's words to the leaders of the Alliance, will you? And by airship. Bugger me, that's an honor and a half, that is. But I can't think of anyone who deserves it more. I'm proud of you, Joey. I truly am. Mm. Now, I dare say Raubon told you this, but not many people get to get on airships these days. In fact, most folk go to their graves having never once seen Eorzea from above. Poor buggers shuffle off to meet Thal, having never known the blues of Limsalemensa's shimmering seas or the myriad greens of leafy Gridania. But not you, Joey. You'll see those sights and more, and everywhere you go, you'll find fascinating folk with fascinating tales to tell. The people you meet, the places you go, savor those experiences, for they are priceless, all. Saying that, it'd be remiss of me if I didn't remind you to be careful out there. Ulda ain't the only place beset by troubles, as you'll discover when you visit Limsa and Gridania. Truth be told, that might well be exactly what the General wants you to realize. I think he knows what kind of man you are, Joey. And what kind that, you ask? Why, the kind that can't resist sticking his nose in other people's business, of course. Don't you ever go changing. Safe travels, Joey. I'll see you when you get back. I don't want to see you anymore. I'm so tired of you. Shit. I just want to go. just want to go and never come back. All right. Time to go to the airship and travel on to the other two city-states slash starter zones. And we're here at the airship. Eleonora. Airship ticket, please. Greeting, sir. This is the reservation counter for passengers traveling to Limsa Lamenta. If I'm not mistaken, you are the Flame General's envoy, Joey Quest, yes? Hi, Wind Skyways is at your service. Will you be flying with us today? Yeah. Sure, sure. Okay. On the other side. Alright, y'all. This is it. We're leaving, finally. We're leaving. Uh, attention all passengers. The airship bound for Limsa is about to depart. Please make your way to the boarding gate. <laughs> yeah, we're got to do this shit. We're got about, we're got about to do this shit. Uh, the classic Final Fantasy start of the adventure music. Off we go! Oh, there's Mamodi! Oh, Bankrid! Papashan! Poofaloopa! Owen! Randos! Leo Frick! Who's that? Oh! When first we met beneath the Sultan Tree, I sensed there was something unusual about him. I wonder if they will feel the same. Godspeed, Joey. Godspeed. <laughs> if I'm right, they'll be singing your praises from here to the far reach before long. Oh, my Lollafell friends. May you always walk in the light of the crystal. Alright, let's not start getting religious. Oh, shit. Ah, my tunic blowing in the wind. <sighs> Feels good to get a change of scenery. Whoa, what the fuck is this? Castrum Oxidens? Uh, 
Oh, oh. <laughs> Who are these Power Ranger looking ass motherfuckers? It has been 15 years, but the bitter taste of defeat lingers still. 15 years since the Imperial fleet set course for Mordona, led by the Egrius, mightiest of all vessels. Silver Till Lake lay ripe for the taking, and all of Eorzea would soon be ours. Or so we believe. But an innumerable host of dragons met us that day, at the heart of which flew the great meat guard Zormer. Though we succeeded in slaying that lord among worms, the dread serpent's defeat was bought at too high a price. Our invincible flagship was lost, and all hope of victory with her so ended our glorious Conquest. Yes, fuck this shit up, Midgard Swarmer. It's a cool looking dragon, tell you what. I reckon. Eorzea, a blighted realm, riddled with false gods. Twice now it has eluded the Empire's grasp. For all the destruction it wrought, even Meteor, the Great Sin, failed to yield us control over it. And for this failure, the realm has sunk deeper into depravity. It is twisted beyond all reckoning, rotten nigh to the core. Yet, it must be saved. Only Garlean rule can bring order to Eorzea. It falls to us to deliver the misguided masses from their ignorance. We are of one mind, Lord Van Balzar. I don't know who y'all think y'all is. What the fuck is that? Star Wars up in this bitch. Hey, is the Legatus really planning to take another tilt at Eorzea? Hey, what hole have you been hiding in? We're in the midst of preparing for a new campaign, and a huge one at that. But I thought the Emperor had given up the Western lands for lost after Cartano. What could the Legatus possibly hope to gain by acting alone? I sense you harbor certain doubts over the wisdom of the Legatus's plan. Uh, fuck. Uh, my, my lord! What's in your forehead? Please, call me Nero. Tell me, where were you born? Othard, my lord. Alamigo, my lord. <laughs> ah, codename Hummingway, I presume? I... I don't know what you... Silence. Your denials will not change your fate. I assure you, Frumentarium sees all. What is Frumentarium? Is that your eyeball? <laughs> Dead. Nice. You know it's the enemy faction when Clean they kill each other. Clean up this mess. And do not miss any. Or I shall be most displeased. At, 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 at once, my lord. Cool helmet. Garland. Soon you will be made to know the true power of Magitech. Magitech. It's a cool name. Narrow 
Toast Gaba. <gasps> ah! Nem Salamensa. Land ho. <laughs> the way I have to lift my legs to travel <laughs> across the lands. Alright, where am I going? Uh, oh. Let me up, girl! Ah, you must be the envoy from Ulda. Welcome to Limsilaminster, sir. Admiral Blufuswin awaits your arrival. You are the Uldan envoy. Welcome to Limsalominsa. The Admiral has been looking forward to your arrival. Please proceed to the Crow's Lift at your earliest convenience. It will take you to the Balwark Hall. Once there, pray speak with Xanthale. He will be pleased to show you into the Admiral's command room on the bridge. Okay, <laughs> I don't know how I want to talk for Makote. <laughs> who? Who am I talking to? Damn. Over call. All right, chat. Now tell me how to fucking navigate around this bitch. Right? Now I gotta go over here. Greetings, sir, and welcome to our fair city. If you would permit me to examine the seal on the missive you carry. Wait, I feel like Limpsilaminsons should be cockney. Or like piratey. Yes, everything seems to be in order. My apologies, we cannot afford to be complacent, you understand? <laughs> Please step this way. I don't know where my accent is going right now. <laughs> La Minsa is a culture shock to my whole brain at this point. Enter. Oh, it's me. A little soft knocking. So the silver-tongued merchant send an adventurer to speak for them. It appears the Uldans place great faith in you. This way. Mervib. I bid you welcome. I am Melvib Blufisvin, Admiral of Limso Lominsa, and Commander of the Maelstrom. Why, hello there, large lady. Now, what news from Thanalan? You know how it is, the syndicate's fucking everything up. Nanamo's being lazy as all hell. Shit like that. Hmm. A memorial service to honor the fallen. Seven hells. Has it been five years? Five years since the Garlamlian Empire sought to wrest Eorzea from our grasp. It was in answer to the Imperial threat that the city-states formed the Grand Companies and forged the Eorzean Alliance anew. But Garlemald was not content to wager all, wager all on his, Is she British? On a simple contest of martial might, they had other plans. The Meteor Project. Legatus Snail Van Darnus Hells take him intended to cleanse our realm by snatching the lesser moon Dalamud from the heavens and casting it down upon our heads. Desperate to prevent this lunatic scheme, we marched our forces to the Cartano Flats and there met the 7th Imperial Legion in battle. Never have I seen a fight like the Battle of Cartano, and I have seen fool many. But though we gave no quarter, spared no, not one, ons of effort, we could not prevent what followed. From inside the shell of Dalamud came a winged nightmare, a dragon the size of a bloody city. Twas the Elder Primal Bahamut bent on making an eighth hell of Eorzea. In the space of a breath, the legions of the Empire were set aflame, while our own armies fared little better. Twas as if the whole world was burning. Words cannot well describe the scene. And yet, by some miracle, a few among us were spared. Even as I steeled myself for death, a blinding white light enveloped me, 
robbing me of my senses. When I regained them, the dragon was gone, and the still smoldering land was warped beyond all knowing. Were Archon Louisois still with us, he would doubtless shed some light on these unfathomable happenings. Alas, he is not, and I fear we will want for his wisdom in the days to come. For while our nation struggled to recover from the devastation, the beastmen call forth their damned primals to torment us anew. Unless we put aside our differences and we build now, our foes will catch us unprepared. <laughs> Y'all, her voice is hard to try to do. <laughs> and I, I speak not only for the beastmen. Do not imagine that the Empire has forsaken its claim on Eorzea. The Imperials crowd our borders, waiting to strike. Damn it all, we need champions to replace those we lost. But such thoughts are worse than worthless. Time is short and none will save us, save ourselves. It is the duty of every soul who survived the Calamity to work together for the good of Eorzea. And this memorial service may be the very thing to unite us. Aye, Raubon has the right of it. I accept his proposal. Cool. I'm glad. Bye, guys. Your duty is done here, adventurer. I will see to it that the Flame General receives my reply. You travel next to Gidania, yes? Yeah. Pray give my regards to the Elder Seeds here. Oh, and tell her the wolf has been sniffing around the stables. A private jest and one in poor taste, but I would have you tell it all the same. Fare you well, Joey. May the navigator guide you on your journey. Yes. Speak with Lenoflo at the airship landing. Okay. Back to the airship landing. That was quick. Hi, Limsalaminsa, I guess. And onward to Gridania. Great Dixter, this is the counter for passengers traveling to Gardania. A pleasure to serve you again, sir. Are you ready to board the airship to Gardania? Yes. Ah, Gardania. So beautiful. Ah, my favorite town. Yes, you drive the airship backwards. Okay. Where am I? Where the hell am I? Oh, arrivals attendant. Hi, uh, you must be the envoy from Ulda. Welcome to Gridania, sir. The Elder Seeds here awaits your arrival. Hardy, hard, hard. Wait. This is at the Limbs of Lemonson, I said. Serpent Honor Guard. Greetings, good sir. You are the Uldan Nonvoy, are you not? I have received instructions to assist you. Pray make your way into the city proper and identify yourself to the conjurer at Nafaka's altar. She will admit she will admit you to the lotus stand where the elder seat seer awaits. <laughs> well, bye. Why am I here? Why am I even further away? Okay, so I go upstairs. This place is crazy. It's so cool. Look at that. Whoa. What? Oh, let me get out. This place! This place, oh, I love it. Oh, I love this place. Wow. I guess we gotta go to the other map. Oh shit, I didn't get the fucking Limsa Lominsa ether right. What the hell's wrong with me? Look at this place, so beauteous. Ah. Uh, 
This is just like Winders. I don't know why Gridania is not the Lalafell place. Considering Winders was the Tarn Tarn place. This song reminds me of Lotro or Lord of the Rings. And we're here just at Still Glade Fane. Or Apco's Altar? What? Oh. This place is so cute. Ah, oh, beauteous. Beauteousness. Damn, all these big motherfuckers are always in the goddamn way, shit. You are the Uldan envoy? Begging your pardon, sir, but might I inspect the missive you bear? <laughs> Verily, this is the seal of the Supreme Commander of the Imper Immortal Flames. Please come with me. Oh, wait. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. <sighs> So you are the Uldan Envoy. On behalf of our fair nation, I bid you welcome. Thank you, strange lady. Please. This place is beautiful. <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself. I am Khan A. Senna, Elder Seed Seer of Gridania and leader of the Order of the Twin Adder, our nation's grand company. I understand you bear a message from the Flame General. I do, and the message is... We're finna party, y'all! Oh no. A remembrance service for the Fallen of Cartanau. Pray tell me, adventurer. What do you know of our conflict with the Empire? Yes. It would seem my counterparts recounted the tale in some detail. That is well. Hmm? A message from the Admiral? A wolf has been sniffing around her stables, you say? I see. Well, I shall be pleased to provide her with such counsel as I am able. But first, my friend of my friend... I would tell you more of the Garlean threat. For the greater part of its history, Garlemald was not even among the most influential nations in Ilsevar, nor the northern continent. However, its innovations in the field of Magitech some fifty years past helped to raise it from the depths of obscurity. Emboldened by this technology, it set about subjugating its neighbors, swiftly absorbing each into its ever-expanding territory. And when all of Ilsebard lay within its grasp, it turned its ravenous gaze upon Eorzea. Yet Garlemald's transformation did not come about by virtue of Magitek alone. Its success owed much to the consummate leadership of its first and reigning empire. <laughs> Solus Zos Galvis, that's a cool name. The man who built an empire in his own lifetime. Yet he has lived long, and after more than fourscore winters, it is said that he grows frail and ever more prone to illness. If rumors are to be believed, the matter of succession has destabilized the Imperial Court. This would explain the Empire's relentless... <laughs> this would explain the Empire's relative inactivity in recent years. <laughs> Y'all, I keep fucking up. Which has granted us much needed time to rebuild. Yet we cannot allow ourselves to become complacent, for Garlemald still maintains a presence in Eorzea in the form of the 14th Imperial Legion. Commanding this great host is Legatus Gaius Van Belsar, a man whose ambitions are well known to us. So long as he breathes Eorzean air, none of us may sleep easy. The calamity wreaked such devastation upon the realm that it has been all we could do to nurse our wounds. Never mind rebuild our defenses. Simply put, we have not the strength to repel the Empire. To add to our woes, the beast tribes continue to summon their primals, though whose very existence is a bane upon the land. Each nation is beset with its own primal problem, 
None has the resources to look beyond its own borders. The Admiral desires my counsel regarding a brazen wolf. She means to tell me that the Empire may soon resume its advance. Though the Primals pose an undeniable threat to our survival, the threat posed by the Garleans is greater still. Clearly, each nation can no longer afford to think only of that which occurs within its own borders. A storm gathers upon the horizon. If we are to weather it, we must needs stand united once more. A remembrance service may help to rekindle the spirit of unity which brought the peoples of Eorzea together when last the Empire threatened our liberty. The Flame General was wise to make his proposal, and I wholeheartedly approve of it. The necessary provisions shall be made for a service here in Gridania. Oh, we get to party here? Hell yeah! I'm staying here then. They can come over here and fucking someone else send word. I ain't gonna do it. That's that's a huge well you got there, lady. Ah, paradise. <laughs> what was that? Your work here is done, my friend. I shall send my reply to the Flame General forthwith. I thank you for coming. May the Twelve see you safely home. Okay. Oh, I got a toy. You may now make use of the airship routes connecting the three nations before you may board an airship. You must pay the requisite to fare and kill. Okay, so I can just take the airship back to Limsalimitsa and get the etherite. Cool. Oh, where am I going? <laughs> the Call of the Sea. The Serpent Officer has information that will be of interest to you. I pray your meeting with the Elder Seeds here went well. My Lord Envoy, correct me if I'm mistaken, but did you not also deliver a message to Admiral Melvi Bluefistfin of Limsalimitsa? While you were there, did you happen to meet <laughs> this accent? Bateron, the proprietor of the Drowning Wench? The Gary's gentleman, always happy to help his fellow man. Well, I am told that he has a task for a capable adventurer. I know not what the task entails, but I dare say the Flame General's personal envoy would make a fine candidate. If you are interested in learning more, pray speak with Bateron at his establishment. Huh? Huh? Where am I going? Why am I going there? I don't like that. Those motherfuckers are gonna make me go to Limsalimitsa anyway, bitch. You assholes. Alright, so I come down here. I love this place. Ah, look at how beautiful. The sounds of nature. And then I go downstairs. Okay. And then I take the airship to Limsa for 120 gil, bitch. Hell no. Nah. Oh, I matched the airship. <laughs> okay, can I skip this? Yeah, like, let's be real. Only because we're doing YouTube, y'all. We're doing the YouTubes. Okay. Okay, first of all, uh, I'll work all... No, we might as well just stop at the Drowning Wench. Get the quest and then go get the Etherite. Before we leave. That's a cool ability. Wow. Adoran. Welcome to the Drowning Wench. Sit. Wherever ye like, mate, I'll be with ye in a... Hmm? Aye, I'm Badaran, all right. Who's asking? Ah, heard as I've got a job for a capable venturer, ye say? Well, you're bloody right. Just so you're fairly warned, though, this ain't no job for the faint of art. Things are liable to get downright feed and airy. But if ye think you're still interested, let me know and I'll fill ye in on the details. Oh my god. 
Yes, give me this rope, bitch. You're talking too much. Everybody's talking too much. Damn it. <laughs> Shit. Alright, the, 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 yeah, let's get rid of this goofy ass hat. Yes. Oh, look at how cool. Back to this. Oh, alright. I'd rather have a black robe than a red one, but this looks cool too. Okay. It's probably pirates. Not around the private of prodding wench. Johnny wench is need of a capable adventurer. Oh, is this the beginning of the um dungeon sword lines? I thank ye for taking the time to help me out. Now I'm sure you're busy, so I'll come straight to the point. Word is it some suspicious looking buggers have seen been seen sneaking this is hard to read. Been sneaking in and out of the Sestasha Sea Grotten. I need a trustworthy sort to head up north of Aleport and find out who they are and what they're up to. Don't sound like much, I know. But it weren't so long ago as the fishbacks pet pirates paid us an unwelcome visit, and folk are feeling a bit nervous. If you would permit me, must uh, Oh, who's this? If you would permit me, Master Batteron, I should be happy to elaborate. Who are you? Oh, you're the guy in the office. Well, well, if it ain't the Chief Yellowjacket himself, to what do I owe this rare honor, Commodore Rayner? Come to make sure me patrons are behaving, or just thirsty? <laughs> Neither, in fact. I was informed that you had requested an adventurer to assist in my investigation, and I came to offer what information I could sift from the recent reports. <laughs> Over the course of the past moon, there have been several sightings of an unfamiliar vessel off the coast of Aleport, in the vicinity of the Isles of Umbra. This information came to my attention no more than a few weeks after a squad of my own soldiers had completed a routine pa patrol of the region, the Sestasha Seagrot included. Their search revealed little save that a family of corals had taken up residence in the caves. Nothing to concern us, in short. In light of recent developments, however, it would seem wise to search Sastasha again. But with the Sahagin testing our defenses daily, I am loath to assign the task to the limited forces at my disposal. Our line is stretched as it is. Thus, I sought the services of a competent adventurer to conduct an investigation in our stead. Any aid you can offer in this matter would be greatly appreciated. Then it is settled. Sestasha is located in Western Lanosha. For more detailed instructions on how to reach the place, I suggest you consult Vamelpa. She can be found at the ferry docks in the lower decks. You are the man! Good luck to ye, lad! You're too much, Batteron. I don't like it. You're too much. This is why I'm not from the Cinemitsu. I'm going. <laughs> Shit. Okay, what? There's no etherite on this floor. This place is wild. How do I go downstairs, y'all? What is this place even? This place is wildin'. Uh, let's go through the fishery. No fish to be seen. Cute. Oh, look, another person. Another Lalafo in a robe. Oh, I like that one. What level is he? Oh, fuck off, yeah? Bloody nerve, being higher level than me. Toss pot. The Etherite Plaza. This is gonna be a shit show. Cause all the people here are going to be insane. Look at this. If I had the names on, it would be obvious how crazy this is. Wow, it's like Disney World. Shit. It's Disney World! La 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 Can you see? Okay. Uh, what? Oh, now we gotta go. This place is crazy. I know this is your favorite uh, town, but like, as a foreigner, this place is wild. I'm sure y'all could say the same for Ulda, but damn. This place is cool, though. Look at how, like, I don't know. I love how vertical it is. And like, yeah, how vertical it is. <laughs> and like the whitewashed stones and shit. Oh, almost at the fairy guy, girl, woman. What is this outfit? Nice sneakers, dude. You're here about Commodore Rainer's investigation? 
Then you'll want to board a ferry bound for airport. Once you arrive in Western Lanosha, though, you'd best pay a visit to the Hall of the Novice before you blunder into Slastasha. The Adventurer's Guild runs the hall, and the folk there will prepare you, train you with the skills you'll need to face the dangers undoubtedly waiting for you in the Sea Grot. The hall is on the way to Sastasha, just north of Aleport. Head inside, and uh, one of their seasoned adventurers will take you in hand. Best of luck to you, friend. Yeah, sure, sure. Oh, jeez. Aleport. It's a cool ether, right? Okay. Oh, they're gonna have me go to the Hall of the Novice? Hall of the Novice? Whoa, level 15, mother Oh wait, I'm level 17, damn. I'm just getting levels like crazy up in here. Ah, I am not a noob, but I was sent here. Season adventurer. Ah, you must be the adventurer of whom the Yellow Jacket sent word. I hear you are the brave to brave the depths of the Sastasha Seagrot. The occupants of those caves are rumored to be as numerous as they are bloodthirsty. No matter what the epic tales would have you believe, strolling into such a den of savagery alone would be the height of foolishness. No, you shall need companions, and you shall need this training we here at the Hall of the Novice can provide. I strongly suggest that you study the fundamentals of group combat before continuing on your mission. The smith here oversees the training schedules. Speak with him and you can register for exercises tailored to your particular field of expertise. So, I like his outfit. When you have mastered all that our masters have to teach, then it will be time to head north once more. Report to the Yellow Jacket Scout at the mouth of the Sastasha Sea Grout, and he will furnish you with the details of your duty. And that's gonna be it for this video, guys. I know, I know all of you that know what's coming. I am getting ready to start the first dungeon, and the problem is I don't want to do, I don't have time to both do this freaking Hall of Novice shit and the next dungeon, and then turn in any of the quests and all that and wrap it all up. So I'd rather just stop here and then do the dungeons. I think we're gonna be doing the first three dungeons. So in the next episode, I will do this Hall of the Novice situation and then do the dungeon and we'll just go from there. We'll probably finish the level 15 MSQ and then do the level 15 Black Mage quest and more dungeons and more MSQs to come, y'all. Um, this game's getting crazy. It's really starting to amp ramp up with the whole introduction of dungeons and how crazy that's gonna be. And I'm excited to show you all. So thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Stay questing, y'all. Bye.